Hi there Sagittarius, thank you for joining me for your weekly forecast for week commencing the 8th of September. With the Sun and Venus still high in the sky in your situation, your solar midheaven, there is a lot of emphasis on responsibilities and obligations, but also on your success sector, and any kind of goals are also highlighted too. Now the Sun is forging a terrific angle with Saturn this week, and Saturn, of course, is the planet of structure, but also of restriction. But it's in the part of your horoscope, which is in the back end of your situation. So something you've been working towards for some time could start to come to fruition. But if you do want to make a big impression on people, don't feel you can only do this through banging the drum loudly and really advertising or promoting your services in an upfront way. Subtlety and building relationships with decision makers behind the scenes can be just as essential too. But there is a full moon at the start of this week. And if you are wanting to focus on your global domination uh, desires, well, it may come as a little bit of a shot when someone in your more emotional situation starts to complain about it. Now, it just may be that family members and friends have not seen you for quality time for some while and may put in a request for you to give them a little bit more attention. And if you can do that this week, create some break in your schedule to do so. It will be a lovely thing to do. On the other hand, it could be that you've got extra responsibilities linked to your family, especially if there's a parent that needs quite a lot of support or even a younger person. But on the other hand, with Venus in this part of your horoscope, there may be a relationship that you're wanting to take much more seriously. But if that's the case, the confusing influence of Neptune on the other side of the heavens can make it tricky to know exactly where you stand. And especially if someone tends to appeal to your uh, good goodwill or your higher self, be careful in this kind of situation. When Venus and Neptune get together in this kind of way, someone you encounter could be really quite deceitful. It could be someone that's close to you, that you see all the time. It could be someone you meet in a professional situation. But don't necessarily believe at face value what you're told. However, charmingly, that the request or the information is relayed to you. However, there is two set or two influences in the second half of this week which really give me a sense of excitement for you. The first is the angle between Uranus, the planet of unpredictability, and Jupiter, your ruler. And that occurs from Wednesday through to the end of the week. And Jupiter is in the part of your scope to do with exploration, adventure, being free. Now, these are all characteristics that the average Sagittarius understands only too well, even if it's in terms of your intellectual interest, not necessarily your physical space. But you could connect with someone and find them very exciting company. But all of this stuff is really quite in stark contrast to the more responsibility and obligation-led influences that you're getting from the Sun and also Venus. So you're going to need to make sure that you don't let anyone down if you want to go off and do something for yourself. So there is some juggling to be done. But an opportunity to go on a surprise a holiday or trip may come up, perhaps because someone else drops out, or you get a, an incredible offer which you just feel is too good to turn down and you feel you have to head off. Well, that will create an awful lot of stimuli for you. And however much your toe in the party line when it comes to getting the, uh, to the top at work, do give yourself some permission to go off and do more freedom-loving activities because that will help to oxygenate your week. But perhaps the most exciting event of this week comes on its last day. When Mars moves into your sign, now Mars is the planet of ego, but over the last 55 days it's been moving through a very psychological part of your horoscope. Some surprise opposition may have come to your attention. On the other hand, perhaps your emotions have been very up and down. One minute feeling quite angry, that's another feeling perhaps a little bit weepy. But once it moves into your sign, you're going to resolve a lot of these issues very quickly. You're going to feel much more in charge of your emotions and also much more action orientated. Your energy can come up and you can really get on the, the front foot very quickly indeed. Thank you for joining me. Good luck. And goodbye for now.